Hello friends, this video on Vector Algebra part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 19. In this case, we have to prove that each of these vectors is a unit vector. Let's suppose this is A vector, this guy is B vector, this guy is C vector. We have to prove that each of these vectors is a unit vector. So for that, we have to prove that mod of A is equal to mod of B is equal to mod of C is equal to 1 because it is a unit vector. Second thing we need to prove that they are perpendicular to each other. So if they are perpendicular to each other, cos theta is 90. If you find a dot b, it is nothing but a into b into cos theta, that is cos 90. Cos 90 is 0. Since all are perpendicular, that means my a dot b will be equal to 0. b dot c will also be equal to 0 and a dot c will also be equal to so we have to prove this first thing is magnitude of a magnitude of b magnitude of c are all one because they are unit vector second thing is a dot b is zero b dot c is zero and a dot c is zero that's all we have to prove so let's prove the first part first where we define the magnitude of a so magnitude of a you will find in this case will be one by seven it will take common root of 2 square plus 3 square plus 6 square correct that is 1 by 7 root of 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 6 square is 36 that is 1 by 7 root 49 that is 1 by 7 into 7 that is 4 so thus we can see that vector a is a unit vector similarly we will try for vector b Vector B will be 1 by 7 are they common? Root of 3 square, 6 square, 2 square. It becomes 3 square plus 6 square plus 2 square. That is 1 by 7 root of 9 plus 36 plus 4. That is 1 by 7 root 49. That is 1 by 7 into 7. That is 1. Correct. Similarly, c vector will be 1 by 7 root of 6 square, 2 square, 3 square, right? 6 square, 2 square and minus 3 square, so minus 3 square, 3 square, all same, so like 3 square, the 1 by 7, root of 6 square is 36, 2 square is 4 and 3 square is 9. So what I get is again 1 by 7 root 49, that is 1 by 7 into 7, that is. So you can see that all are unit vectors. First part is done. Second, we have to prove that all are mutually perpendicular. So we have to find a dot b. We are also going to find b dot c and a dot c. We have to prove that all these are 0. So let me try a dot b. a dot b is nothing but this guy into this guy. So 1 by 7 and 1 by 7, they are 2 1 by 7. I'll take this guy common into 2i3j6k 2i plus 3j plus 6k right dot 3i6j 2k 3i minus 6j plus 2k correct so that is nothing bad 1 by 7 into 1 by 7 is 1 by 49 into 2 into 3 is 6 6 3 into minus 6 is minus 18 plus 6 into 2 is 12, right? This is nothing but 6 plus 12, 18 minus 18, 0. That is 0. Thus, A and B are perpendicular. Similarly, let's try for A and Z. We'll find A dot C. So again, A dot C, 1 by 7, 1 by 7 common. So I'll say 1 by 7 into 1 by 7. And I'll say A dot C, A is 2i, 3j, 6k. So 2i plus 3j plus 6k dot c 6i 2j minus 3k 6i plus 2j minus 3k so this becomes 1 by 7 1 by 7 becomes 1 by 49 2i into 6i that is 12 2 into 6 12 plus 3 into 2 is 6 j into j is 1 and 6 into minus 3 is minus 18 right it also becomes 12 plus 6, 18 minus 18, that is 0. 
Similarly, if you try b dot c now, a dot b is done, a dot c is done, b dot c is left. So if you say b dot c also, that is nothing but b has 1 by 7, c has 1 by 7, so I'll take 1 by 7, 1 by 7 outside. b vector is 3i minus 6j plus 2k, 3i minus 6j plus 2k dot 6i 2j minus 3k, 6i plus 2j minus 3k. So this guy is nothing but 1 by 49 into 3 into 6 is 18, 6 into 2 is minus 12 and 3 into 2 is minus 6. Correct? This guy is 18 minus 18 that is 0. So if you see all these are 0. Thus this I can conclude that all these vectors A, B and C are mutually perpendicular because with first I can say that A is perpendicular to B. With this I can say that A is perpendicular to C. With this I can say that B is perpendicular to C. That means all are mutually perpendicular. Correct. Let's take one more example. We have to find magnitude of vector A and B. If A plus B dot A minus B is 8 and magnitude of A is equal to 8 into magnitude of B. So let's try this. How to approach? We don't have much value, so let's try to multiply these two. So what you get is, and then we'll see what we can do. A dot plus B dot A minus B. We multiply A dot A is nothing but magnitude of A square plus A into B. So this is minus A into minus B. That is A vector dot B vector minus plus. Now will B into A vector will become plus b vector dot a vector b vector into minus b vector is nothing but minus magnitude of b square because in this case between angle between b and b is 0 cos 0 is 1 so now if you see a dot b is equal to b dot a so this is minus a dot b this is plus b dot a both can be cancelled this is equal to 8 given so what i get here is magnitude of a square minus magnitude of b square is 8. I have to find magnitude of A and magnitude of B. I am being told that magnitude of A is 8 of magnitude of B. So I will write A as 8 magnitude of B, right, whole square minus B square is equal to 8, correct? So 8B square minus B square is equal to 8. That is 7B square Or 63 because 8 square is 64. 64 magnitude of b square minus magnitude of b square is equal to 8 or you get 63 magnitude of b square is equal to 8 or magnitude of b square is equal to 8 by 63 or that means b is equal to 2 root 2 by root 63 that is 3 root 7. That is my magnitude of B. So once I have magnitude of B, finding magnitude of A is not difficult. Magnitude of A is nothing but 8 into magnitude of B. Correct. This guy is nothing but 8 into 2 root 2 by 3 root. And that is the answer for magnitude of A. So thus I have magnitude of A and magnitude of B. And this is my answer. Not that difficult. The only thing is we didn't know what to do, so we just started solving it. We found that a dot b and b dot a got cancelled. We got an equation in terms of a, a magnitude of a and magnitude of b, and we also had a relation between magnitude of a and b. We use these two equations: this this equation and this equation, right, to find the value of magnitude of a and magnitude of b. Again, this is a simple question. We just find the product of these two vectors. So let's do this. 3a into 2a will be 3 into 2 is 6. Magnitude of a square because a vector into a vector will be magnitude of a square plus 7 into 3 is 21. a dot b so magnitude vector a dot b minus 5 into 2 is 10. b dot a b dot a 5 into 7 is 
minus 5 into 7 is minus 35 b dot b is minus g dot b square correct a dot b is b, b dot a is same so this becomes 6 minus g of a square plus 11 a dot b again this is a scalar minus 35 and that is my answer correct not that difficult very easy to find let's take one more example we have to find the magnitude of two vectors a and b having same magnitude that is magnitude of a is equal to magnitude of b such that the angle between them is 60 degree theta is equal to 60 degree and their scalar product is 1 by 2 that is we are told that a cross b is 1 by 2 magnitude of a is equal to magnitude of b and cos theta is cos 60 degree correct that is again cos theta is 1 by 2 so we have been given all this thing so let's try this a dot b is nothing but magnitude of a into magnitude of b into cos theta and that is 1 by 2 given magnitude of a is equal to magnitude of b so let's try it like this cos theta is 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 so with this I get magnitude of a is 1 because magnitude of a square is 1 so magnitude of a is 1 so if magnitude of a is 1 my magnitude of b is also 1 because magnitude of a is equal to magnitude of b correct thus we found that magnitude of a and magnitude of b is 1 that's what we have to find a very simple question because everything was given we were given the uh, the scalar product 1 by 2 right the angle between them and also given that the magnitude of vector a is equal to magnitude of vector b let's take one more example we have to again find the magnitude of vector x if for a unit vector a that is magnitude of a is 1 right x minus a vector dot x plus a vector is 12 let's solve this let's see where we follow x minus x dot x is x square correct and this becomes x plus a minus this becomes x minus a x dot a minus x plus a and this becomes minus of a square correct this guy is 12 this guy this guy is gone why because this guy is plus x dot a this guy is minus x dot a correct so what i am left with is magnitude of x square minus magnitude of a square is 1 given is equal to 12 or i get magnitude of x square is 30 or i get magnitude of x is 30 and that is the answer very simple question we were told that since here the cash here is it is not directly told that magnitude of a is 1 it is told that a is a unit vector so we know that magnitude of a is 1 so with that we can easily solve this thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again